Is that good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you feel right now? <laughs> Crazy opportunity you just received. This is real life vlogging. No, not into it. Come on in. This is a new place. Hi, what's your name, good looking? I'll take it. <laughs> this is it, where we're gonna live for now. It's a beautiful house. We're very blessed. Say hi. Julian's already having a good time, huh? Boop, 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 boop. Do you like the new house? Say new house. New house. Yeah. Papa. I'll take that for you. Hey. Say thank you. Hey. So here we are. We love it. It's awesome. We already had people come and help us. So now we're just getting settled in. So Blink is really good at organizing. I'm just going to lay here and recoup. Ah, just kidding. We didn't sit our new couches yet. Yes. Okay, lay down. Get ready. Ready? Belinka surprised me with the early Valentine's meal at our new place. Let's see what it is. What is it? Pizza. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Pizza and wings! Fried wings. Oh, you're a bad. <laughs> but I have to make it fancy. We don't have much to make it fancy. Babe, but... this is amazing. Look at this. Look, Juju wants a hug too. <laughs> and French kiss. Oh, babe, you're romantic. They're coming. They're bombing us. Okay. Just kidding. <gasps> this looks delicious. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, babe. She's the best. How come you're so perfect? How come? Answer me. Or a good of spanking. Just kidding. Love you, babe. Love you too. My toy. Oh, oh no. Juju, can you call me father? No. Go ahead. No. 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 What else would we watch? Hula! Boy! Okay, Jillian, what were you telling me? Oh, oh no. Purple moon? Yeah, purple moon. Mm. Brown moon. 
Round moon, yeah. Can you do a half moon? No, it's difficult to draw. Mm. What's that? Tell me what it is. What is it? What is this? What's this called? You want to eat it? Can you say cookie board? Okay, yeah. in a minute. But first, who is this? Hey, who is this? Little man. Little man. No, it's Julian. Julian. It's Julian. Okay, and you made that. You even put. You made eyes and a mouth, huh? And the eye, huh? 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 Arm. B B. Mouth. Eye. Eye. Good job, Julian. And and round head. And you got a little bump on your head yesterday, huh? Does it hurt? Sorry. It's okay I'm, now? Um, <laughs> yeah, and you fell. But you're okay now, right? Yeah. You want to make grass for Julian? Yeah. Okay, I'll help you. Where'd the lion, baby lion go? No, where Where's the dada lion? No, where's the dada lion? Okay, and where's the baby? Under the water? Say, baby, where are you? Look, by the horse. Grass? Can you draw it? No, Dad. Good morning. You're so cute. You gotta see Mama and the girls at the girls' house. Can you wake up, buddy? I love you. Good morning. It's time to get up and run. Hi, buddy. Did you sleep okay? You're so strong. Look at your muscles. Your dinosaur, he's sleeping too. What dinosaur, wake up. <laughs> Is he sleeping? I love you. You're so cute. Look at that face. You got whistly nose. Do you hear your nose? At the girl's house, we gotta go meet her. No, 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 no,
This is our house, but we have to go to the girl's house. Okay. I'm not my house. Hmm. I'm not the girl's house. We'll go to the girl's house, and then we'll come back to our house. <laughs> okay, well, I have to turn this off because we have to get dressed. Do you need to go potty? Go potty first, kid. He ran away. It always happens. Hey, look! Julian! Julian! What's this? Julian, what's this? Is yeah, this a stick? Yeah, yeah better than him. Hey, Julian! Did you know you're too cute for your own good? No. <laughs> no? Did you know you're too cute for your own good? Yes! yes. Oh, no. Julian! And he's gone, just like that, folks. Did you know you're too cute for your own good? Can you say that? Do you know you're too cute? No. Say too no. cute. Too cute. It's your mama. It's your mama. Ready? What's the train say? Choo choo. Good job. Say thank you. All right, let's go. Let's All go. Say all aboard. Good job. Julian, do you want to wave to everybody? Say bye. Look. Hi. Julian. Good job. Do you like it, Julian? Yeah, I'm teaching him how to hold it. Okay. Hold. Um, he knows how to hold the bars because I had him oh, go on it by himself. Can, you have to hold it, okay? Oh, he can do it next to you. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Yeah. Good job, son. Yes, yeah, son. <laughs> I feel like it's going to break. It's not. Oh, that bolt's coming out. Just Ooh, can we take a walk? Oh. We need to get you a sandbox, huh? No, I need to eat. Oh, you're making it go through there? Yeah. Wow, you're so creative. Ladies and gentlemen, Belinka finally got some chips. They're right up here. Baked barbecue. She said she's going to eat them. She was so excited when they found them on sale, huh? Are you going to eat them? Are you going to bite it? Maybe. <laughs> well, when that day comes, when that day comes, I'm going to get this out again. Okay. 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 I'll be seeing you.
I'll be seeing you. Yes, I broke that. Is that what you're holding up? <laughs> well, the door slammed. Oh. We need to put a work order. That's what we do. Where is it? So not really necessary, but yeah, need to do it. David? Sorry. Hey, so I realized that we didn't really talk about um, our new job and everything. Sorry, I'm just getting back from the grocery store because we're getting ready to go see my parents for this weekend. And it'll be so much cooler. It's up north, more north. It's the center of Arizona, but it's going to be 117 tomorrow, they're saying. So that's not fun. So anyways, this is just what's going on with our whole job. Because I know that we had talked about it, but we really hadn't made it like officially what we're doing. So um, we are alternate house parents, which means we we relieve the actual parents of the house, the live-in parents. Each house holds 10 boys or 10 girls. There's seven houses on the campus. We live in a little duplex um, on campus so we can walk to work every day. We're with Julian every day. We're with each other all day. So it's wonderful. We're learning a lot about each other and growing. Um, but I just kind of wanted to explain what it's like. So Monday and Tuesday, we are on with a girl's house and then Wednesday and Thursday we're on at a boy's house and it's the same house every week and then here and there on a weekend or a Friday, Fridays we have staff meetings and stuff but um, typically we have three days off or two and a half days off which is nice and then every now and then we have to fill in at another house if someone's on vacation or something. So that's kind of a little bit about it. But um, I would say, yeah, there's daily confrontations because some of the kids have behavioral incidences or behavioral issues. So it's kind of always dealing with that and um, that can be tough. It's, um, you know, I'm not confrontational. So, hey, guys, we're all getting down to the van because um, we go to a dining hall to eat, which is on campus, but I pick, take them all from the house in the mornings when school is in session, and then some of them don't make it. So at first I kind of stayed behind, but then everyone else would be late. Then I was like, if you're not on time, your house dad already said you need to be on time, there's gonna be a consequence, you have to do a chore. And then sometimes the kids melt off, or you know, it's just like those kind of issues, which I mean happens in every home, but when it's like kids that you've only known for a couple months and you're having to confront them, you don't really know the personalities, you know, some of them blow up and have, you know, big anger issues. So then it's kind of like, you get worried. Some of them are fine. So, you know, it's just like, I don't like making people unhappy, but when you're a house parent, you're just having to do things that kids don't necessarily want to do. So yeah, I'm just learning a lot, I guess I should say in that area, but it's been good for me. It's stretching me, it's helping me to grow. It's making my skin thicker and that's uh, what I need. I've always been kind of a sensitive person and that's okay too, but uh, it's helping me realize like people are not gonna hate you for the rest of your life if you have to confront them. And I'm seeing with a lot of the kids around here that it turns around, especially the boys. They're like, okay, whatever. They're kind of like tornadoes. You're just always kind of trying to manage these tornadoes, these 10 tornadoes. And um, even if they fight with each other, they get over it kind of quickly and stuff. And uh, the girls are great too. Um, they're, sometimes it's easier at the girls' house, uh, but Belinka has to deal with more of them getting them, hey, get in your showers, and the little kids, and stuff like that. Um, some of the stuff is more under the surface, because girls are a lot more, I don't know if the right word is intelligent, but the, some stuff is, you know, the water seems calm, but underneath everything crazy is going on, so it may seem calm at their house, but there's other issues, so it's constant stuff, we're learning a lot. Um, kids sometimes come in for four years, sometimes it's just four months, so there's that too. You get kind of used to a kid and you love them. You love all of them, but some of them you really connect with and then you have to see them go. And, and sometimes it's a good thing. They get to go back with their parents because um, their dad's out of jail now and he's got a stable job. Or um, they have another family member that can take them in. So 
Yeah. Sometimes there is an incident where a kid's just hurting themselves too much and we have to send them to a, a place that can help them better, something that's safer for them because they have a lot more things going on that um, we just can't, you know, fully help them with. But it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's challenging, but it's very good. And I really, I do like the job. Um, it's something I didn't expect, but that's how God is. And I just see it as a stepping stone. And, the other cool thing, it's been really great for Julian. He's made so many friends. The other, st st other staff families here have lots of uh, little kids around his age, so that's great. But even the kids that are like six, because they start them at five or six coming in here, um, they've connected with Julian, and he's learning a lot. And uh, At first I was worried for his safety, but we just keep him around him, keep him around us all the time, and um, it's great. We get to be with our kid all day long, and he parents can say that where both the mother and father can be with them and, and he's kind of learning you know sometimes he doesn't get the full attention anymore because there's other kids but it's also been good for him because he has all these older siblings and he's learning from some of the really kind of kids that are still you know getting a grasp on life and <laughs> how to act in society and we, we just tell him Julian you don't do this okay this is an example of what not to do and it, it's been good he's just he loves all the kids he doesn't care if they're kind of crazy or, you know, silly or goofy. He just has a good time. So he's growing a lot too. It's crazy to see how many words he's learning every day and all kinds of abilities. We have three parks on campus so he gets to play all the time. And he's having a great time. So it's been good. I really love the job and I'm thankful for God to giving it to us and how it's opened up.